Good morning, and welcome to episode number five of the Jacob's Well Done Show. My name is Tyler, and, I'm and it's great. my birthday. So, more important than whatever she was about to say. So, it's my birthday, which means that we are going... we were going to talk about the THM thing first. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Uh, but you have a present for me, right? We're going to do that, like, later? Yeah, for sure. Okay. We'll do that in a second. So, THM is a diet a bunch of women in town are doing. Chim Healthy Mama, it's a faith-based... Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> yeah, it it's a faith-based I diet promise program. You. So we're gonna get somebody on the line to uh, explain to us what that is. We've never phoned anyone from the show. Hello. Hello, Amy McVeigh. Hi, Mom. Mom. You are a lot. <laughs> this is awkward. I just, uh... Are you jogging right now? Wow, you are such a trim, healthy mama. Can you explain to us and uh, our viewers what that is? I would love to. It is, let me get over here. Um, <laughs> it is a way of eating that helps you to either slim down or maintain your weight without starving and without counting calories. And it lets you eat all the different kinds of food um, that God has given us. You just can't eat them all at the same time, so it's sort of about separating out. So you have your fat. That's how I eat. So wait, what about like Twinkies and things? So Twinkies, yeah, it would be hard to separate that out. Yeah. There would be a lot of coming through that Twinkie, but yeah. So well, okay, when I say everything, I mean everything but sugar. Oh. 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 Okay. All right, bye. Well, <laughs> you just lost my vote. So this is actually like something that's going to be good for you. Right. Oh. Good I'm, for you and filling. And, and filling. And still satisfying yeah. and energizing. Swimming. That's right. All right, well, you'll be the first to know that Jacob's Well <laughs> is going to uh, start carrying ingredients to make two salads that will oh. fit... The Trim Healthy Mama Diet, a Greek salad, and a bacon uh, lettuce and a BLT salad. Awesome. I love it. And you have the, uh, the sugar-free Snicker brevet. Absolutely. That I get to Does have that, there. Does that, that qualify too? Um, it qualifies on my version. I don't know. It's mm. just strict Trim Healthy Mama. <laughs> would go for that, but it works for me. Trim Healthy the Mama best. Puritans are like rolling their eyes right now. Well, you know, don't look too closely. <laughs> She's freezing All out. right, thank you very much, Amy McVeigh. Get back you to your bet. exercising. Love you, Mom. All right, thank you. So, let's move on to my birthday party, which is where Grace is going to give me the present that she bought for me, and I have something for you. Oh, all right, I'll go grab that present then. All right. So... You can bring it out now. Huh? I actually did get him something. It's a birthday present. This took me a long time. What the healthy mama. Oh, look. It's a backpack. A cat pack. <laughs> It's a cat pack for my birthday. I'm just gonna do a quick stretch here. <sighs> Pretty awesome. I'm probably just gonna keep uh, scones and cookies in there from now on so I can really <laughs> get it to customers on the go quick. <laughs> Backpack, cat pack. All right, moving on. Leah Ford, great lady, uh, put on our Facebook wall what is a Jacob's Wall fan called? And we're assuming she doesn't mean the... The fans on our yeah, ceiling. Yeah, the ceiling fans, because those are just called ceiling fans, Leah, if that's what you meant. But I think you mean, what are you called, like our Facebook fans? This has been unofficially Wellsters. Like hipsters for Jacob's yep, Well. For about a year, um, but it's never been made official. You might say that it was... Unofficial. Anti-official. Ear-official uh, for the last year or so. We got some suggestions from Facebook. We got Wellians, like Hellions, but not as bad. Well-offense. Which is a little derogatory. 
What do you call an elephant and a rhino mixed together? A rhino? Elephino. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! All right. <laughs> That's a funny Thank joke. Thank you. All right, we got Jacob's Well Junkies. <clears throat> the Wellers. The Wellers. Dwellers. Like, because a lot of you Dwell. are here, you know, you come here. and study or something, you're like, dwelling. Wellabies, if you'd like to be called Wellabies, we might hunt you for your fur. Do they hunt Wellabies? I don't know. I don't, think I don't so. know much about Australians. Or Welsters, which the is classic. The, the classic. Yeah, so awesome. we're going to put these on some ballot cards. We're going to have a ballot box starting today at the well, and you can cast your vote for what you would like to be called. Hey, where's your party hat, and why are you not wearing it? Hey, just a second. Sorry, I just really got to take this. You know, back in the early 1900s, you had to actually slap somebody across the face to denote ultimate disrespect. Nowadays, we have a different custom. When offered a party hat, just refuse it. So to end today, Grace and I are going to write uh, a phrase or a word on a note card and then pass it to the other person. We're gonna tell a story, and the climax of our story, we're gonna flip the note card and The other one the has other wrote it down. Story. Yep. So. An Indiana man was sent to the hospital yesterday afternoon in critical condition because he swallowed a pile of crap. <laughs> uh, his status is currently unknown. <laughs> In breaking news, today is Tyler's birthday, so we all pitched in. Did you know that? It's my birthday today. Well, that would explain what? this hat this is just so out and of the nowhere. backpack. So we all pitched in and got him a big weasels. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Surprise! <laughs> Thanks for the weasels. No, That's gonna. great. Put it on your cat back. <laughs> 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 it's been a rough day, sweetie. The weasels in my cat pack have really been a... <laughs> so how was your week? It was okay. Um, I had a math test, so it was really stressful. Teacher gave it to me, looked at it, and I got a obese chicken. You got an obese chicken on your math test? And it was, like last time, I got a normal-sized chicken, so I was really... I cried. And... Wow. Yeah. Grace, you, 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 you need to get your grade up to an emaciated fox, okay? Because these obese Gosh. chickens just aren't going to cut it. Sorry. Well, that's all we got for you, folks. Thanks for turning in to, uh, tur thanks turn for turning in tonight when you go to bed. Yeah, turn Thank in early. You. Don't forget. Doctors recommend a full eight hours. And one apple. I also really appreciate you tuning in to the show. Go to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash jacobswelldone. Give us a like. If you haven't yet, have you? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Actually, Grace, no. Grace, you got to go <laughs> do it now. Okay. This is one, it's like the opposite of pantyhose. Easy to get on, but tough to get off. Do you have a lot of experience? I've never worn pantyhose, okay? It's just the first analogy I could come up with. You want to kind of lend a brother a hand with his cat pack? Ah! Oh, I broke it. Woo. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you broke my cat pack? You think I can break this? Let me try. Wow. That, okay. I... This is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. I loosened it up. Seen.